Hey everyone, I'm here to share the long-awaited homemade dog food recipe, how we feed our five dogs from scratch on the road. I'm gonna go through what we buy at the store, how we cook it, and then how we feed the dogs and assemble it. Before we go shopping, I just wanna note, this recipe is for a week's worth for five dogs. So you could make this amount and just put the bags in the freezer, which we'll show you how we bag it up. Or you could half the recipe if you have just one small dog, but I would probably recommend making this size recipe because it's nicer to have the food last longer and just freeze the bags. Let's go. grab everything here except for three ingredients which we're going to show you now. The next two ingredients are pumpkin seed oil and wheat germ oil and these you can find on Amazon. I'll link them in the description below. So the very last ingredient that we weren't able to find at Walmart today but you can find at Walmart sometimes is bones. So these are arguably one of the most important things to make bone broth. So we're going to show some clips right after this of us making the bone broth. But we ended up traveling to an Asian market that was right across the street and they have not only bones, but they have all kinds of organs. So if you can't find beef liver, you can also use beef heart, or this is pork heart. Uh, you can really use any organs for the organ portion of the meal. So in order to make the bone broth, you take the bones and you boil them for at least 12 hours. When you first bring the bones to a boil, the impurities from the butchering process will float to the top and you just want to skim off those. It'll leave like a nasty flavor to the bone broth. So what we have left over are these marrow bones and we won't be giving them to the dogs because they'll splinter their, their throat and their stomach as they chew it up and break it down. We ended up with three jars of bone broth and then we skimmed off the fat and leftover solids which ended up being like uh, the bone marrow and we're gonna let this cool in the fridge and it, it'll uh, solidify and be real gelatinous. <laughs> All of this here is good to, to give the dogs. I didn't want to leave this inside of the bone broth because it would make it spoil quicker.
is cooked. We are going to portion it up in a little bit when it cools down, but it is time to feed the dogs. So we're gonna go ahead and feed the dogs. Now is when we add our meat and liver, organs, and our other oils. You can add all of this stuff as you're cooking it into the recipe, but we stopped doing that because we found that it went bad faster. But if you're making this for less dogs and you're freezing the bags, go ahead and add all of this stuff in and we'll kind of list here what you would add into the full batch as a full recipe. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I divvy out a daily portion. I just wanted to note how much this cost. And in comparison to the Farmer's Dog, which is a popular fresh food brand, it would cost us about $40 a day to feed all five dogs with the caloric intake that they need. And with this, it cost us $8 a day for all five dogs, which is really amazing. So we've actually made this recipe inspired by the Farmer's Dog. They used to post the recipe to their website, but I don't think they do anymore, so that's why we're posting this for your information. Um, so it is cleared by veterinarians and dietitians. It's all good stuff. It has all the nutrition that they need. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these gallon-sized bags and I flip the zipper, but that's so that I don't get any food on the zipper part, because then it won't zipper. So I have a bowl here. I tear the weight on the scale, and I'm just gonna start taking some scoops and try to get some of this water out. Um, I usually weigh out about two pounds and a few ounces uh, per day for all five dollars. Take it like that. strain off the rest of the liquid here into some of these bags. I'm not going to put too much liquid in them. Once it cools down, it'll kind of join together. Very healthy vegetable broth. Now I'm going to take these bags and I'm going to get them cooled down. It's going to be negative 12 tonight out here in Stanley, Idaho. And uh, I'm going to put these bags right outside to cool down instead of putting them in the fridge. That way we can save on the solar. So what I'll do is I'll wrap them up like this and then I'll put them in another bag because they can definitely get leaky. Now I'm going to put these portioned out daily portions in another bag so I can cool them down outside. And this is also so that it doesn't leak all over the fridge. That short one's going on top, so we'll do that first. Ended up being seven days total. We gave them one day's worth today, uh, fresh. So we have six more days left. And when we're just cruising, it really only takes us like an hour and a half, two hours. Boom. It's so damn cold out here. <laughs>